of how they emphasize just on how loud that is. Pistols are light, Shoot and I guess you can carry a lot of ammunition, but... pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew, one-two punch. Yeah, we do. Drop it! What the hell are you doing here? What are you doing with all that? Trying to help. I know you're pissed at me, but I want to do the right thing. For your brother. For him, for the rest of my family. For everyone. Yeah. It was a shit thing to do, fucking off on me like that. I know. I... Why didn't you meet me at the stronghold? We had a plan. I was just trying to keep Kate safe. That was the only thing I was thinking about. Fair enough. I get that. But why should I trust you now? As far as I can tell, you're nothing but trouble. Because what Joan is doing is wrong. I guess I can't really say no to that. And it looks like you could use all the help you can get. Yeah. Awesome. I gotta grab something else real quick. Meet me by the front at five. Done. Okay. It's Mito there right now. You're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my God. Not dead yet. I'm so sorry. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still no. alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody ah. sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility's right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Quarterize the wound. Jeez, come on. Don't worry about it. Surface damage. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. 
You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Looking for something? Sort of. I know this looks bad, but it's not like... It's not like what? I'm just here to talk to Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. You can hear him snoring. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. All right. Go for it. But if I lose my arm, that's on you. Ha ha. You'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. <clears throat> Clem. Are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. It means you're growing up, blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. <laughs> your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it, it'll be okay. I don't know why okay. people get like that. Like, I'm comfortable talking about all that you carry back on. To Kate. She can help you with, uh. Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. Um. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. No thanks. Hmm, what else do I need then? Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Needle and thread, but oh, something to clean it with. Here we go. And what? What? Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. I think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay. Hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Kenny used to say I was a natural born mother. Flashback. It's a butterfly. <laughs> Goofball, want another? Which one to do next? Hmm. How about bark, bark? Down, boy. <laughs> That's a pretty good dog. Always used to do that one for Duck. He'd laugh his ass off. Oh, shit. Hey, grab the lighter out the duffel, will you?
Just a second, goofball. Voila. Hey, get away from him! Gotta act quick. Is he okay? Shh. Still not bitten, little guy. You know, first time I saw you holding AJ, it just looked so natural. Somewhere up there, his mama is looking down on you. Grateful for what you're doing. Always putting him first. I'd do anything to keep him safe. I believe it. You're the only mama he's got. <laughs> Protective, loving, caring. All the things a good parent needs to be, and all at your age. What can I say? Um, Parenthood is a hell of a motivator, though. More mature than I look. <laughs> That's for sure. That kind of love. It's worth fighting for. I'm glad you didn't see what I did to Carver. But I did it for you. I know. Ooh. Kids as sick of the cold as I am. So I've been thinking. It's no use surviving out here, hoping that Wellington will take us in someday. I bet we find some good people down in Florida. Maybe even a little friend for this goofball. Wouldn't that be nice? We could use the company. Hell, I know I could. Anywhere is better than here. I don't think I can stand another day of snow. We'll find you a playmate in no time, kid. I remember when you and Duck used to color together back at the Don't hotel. go to Florida, go to Australia. Life doesn't mean much Less without people. people you can relate to. Sarita always said, family is what you make it. She was right. I'm sorry for all this sappy shit. I guess I'm just happy. Huh. First time in a while. Kenny was good. I liked Kenny. All right, all right, all right. Enough sap, Kenny. <laughs> How about this one, little man? <laughs> We've got each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. Little did they know. Who's there? All right, all right. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. 
Really, I, I am. Tell me he's okay. Please. He's as good as he can be, which isn't great. Look, it's not much, but here. David wanted you to have that. This... Thank you. You're welcome. David wanted Consider it. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now... I get that. You're hurting. Whatever you do... You can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head, helping me. Guiding me. He's still with you, you know. Here. So is really? AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special. Clem. It's what keeps the rest of us going. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone Ava's knows on our I'm side, gone. so I'll be nice to her. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield about ten or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. So, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. I owe you one. Add it to the pile. I'm off it. You Helped you with your lady business, you sewed me up. I still square. have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier, thought you were rotten in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, 
David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. The fact of the matter is, David's been good for AJ, among others. Clem can be the judge of that. She doesn't need to be. As a doctor, I'm telling you, he's in better shape now than when I first saw him. That was because he was sick. He would have stayed sick, too, if I had listened to you, Doctor. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You... You want to know where the boy is? What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I... I can't. When your brother found me... He... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life, other people, even this goddamn place. Without him around, I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. to know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. I'm sorry, Clem. We can't do this. No, oh, I damn have it. to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. <laughs> Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ. Just... Not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! How could you? So be it. It's your funeral. Especially now. Now that Joan's rounding up all of the traitors. You better hope she doesn't find you. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. Man, I really buggered that one up. Hopefully it actually comes back to help me. Javi! You're back! And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Guys, this is Ava. Oh She's... yeah, I know who she is. She's got a hell of a punch. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Ava. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it 
wouldn't hurt to have another. Ah, thanks. Growing up, a little girl. What took you so long? We went to see Doctor Lingard. At night. I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's gotta be a stressful job, looking after an entire community. Can't say I approve of the way he blows off steam, though. He was definitely not a hundred percent there. That's for sure. Sounds about right. Why don't you go talk to Kate? Okay. Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Why can't Jones wouldn't Eleanor be the better person if she's a doctor? They're looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just because they like you doesn't mean they're going to like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure. But this is different. We can't just cut and run, not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now, how the fuck are we going to put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. If there are good people left in Richmond who are against what Joan's doing, we need to ask for their help. If we can talk to the people at the trial, present the case to everyone in Richmond, we might not have to do this on our own. We light the match. The people do the rest. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. What? I thought you guys were going to be careful out there. Hey. Both options were to dob in Gabe. It is what it is. God damn, this game likes to you screw it's you over. Still alive, aren't you? <laughs> Eleanor, can you take a look at this? Hey, do you want a kick in the balls or a bigger kick in the balls? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. You're out of control, Gabe. First the shit at the armory, now this? How am I supposed to trust you to do anything? How are any of us? Nobody here is going to let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain with you. I saved your life, too, in case you didn't remember that part. So what? You shot him. You killed him. What the fuck, Javi? I told you Trip that. You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? You looked me in the eyes, man. He had a gun on them. 
If I hadn't killed him, he was gonna shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Hobby. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? I think you need to give us some space, Hobby. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Well, maybe huh? I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We can take care of ourselves. Hell, we stick around you much longer, you'll probably kill us too. I'm sorry it happened the way it did. Really. Conrad wasn't a bad guy. The situation was just... just fucked. We better go get that truck. Love how you can just uh, drop that stuff. in there. Then call you on the, the situation was just... Meh. And just people understand. Ooh, looks like Eleanor and Tripp are on the same side against me. 